So now let's look at some newborn diapers. And there are three, four main diapers, okay, four main diapers I mainly use for my daughter, and three of them I would buy again. So number one, the Blueberry Newborn Simplex. As I mentioned in the Smart Bottom section, I did not like the Blueberry One Size Simplex, and I would not buy that again. Um, but and, and, and that's primarily because it's an all-in-one and it, I couldn't clean it. But when my daughter was a newborn, she wasn't peeing as much. So cleaning these wasn't as big of an issue. These are also very great because for me, I was a new mom and I had never changed a diaper before. So these were, are very disposable-like and they were very easy to kind of learn how to use a cloth diaper and a diaper at the same time. Uh, this has a pull-out uh, soaker here. It's attached to the front. It's a tongue-style diaper. It's got pockets so you can stuff um, a, a, a extra absorbency if you need it. There are five layers sewn in here and six in this, um, this soaker, but it's all cotton. So it does, it does clean a little bit easier than like hemp or bamboo. Uh, and it has the snap down for the cord right here in the middle. There we go. So really, I, I really liked this diaper. The one complaint that I have, which just kind of seems to be a blueberry thing, um, I mentioned before they aren't very consistent and I found that to be the case with this diaper as well. Some of the leg holes were too big for my daughter. Uh, some fit perfectly when she was a newborn. She was like eight pounds. Some were too big. So it wasn't that consistent, but within a few weeks, they all fit her fine. So it, it wasn't a big deal. I had some leaks at first, but she, she got bigger and that problem went away. Another diaper that I used when my daughter was a newborn that I would recommend and would actually use, um, I would buy more of these again rather than the Blueberry Simplex, uh, the Thirsty Size 1. And this, like I said with the Thirsty Size 2 earlier, this is a lot smaller than the Size 2. This fit my daughter perfectly when she was a newborn. It worked really well. Um, I just noticed that this actually only has the two columns, and I know that they changed their design. I think probably the size one now has three, like the, the size two does. Um, it also has just one row of snaps for the waist, which was fine. It worked really well for us. This has the double leg gussets. Um, I say I would buy more of these because just knowing what I know now and, you know, less drying time, less easier to clean. Um, I really like covers and at the time I was using these with prefolds. I really liked the Grovia prefolds. Uh, this is the size two which I had. I did not have the newborn size which I do have now. Um, the size two was a little bit big and bulky and not probably necessary for a newborn for my daughter at least. So going back in time I would either use this smaller newborn size or I would use my Geffen Baby Hemp Flat. Here you are. <laughs> I love this guy. I Have I said that before? Um, it's so perfectly, I, I came up with the newborn fold. I'm going to make a, another video using this flat just for kind of a newborn fold, a medium fold, and a large fold. But um, going back in time, I would use flats and the Thirsty Size 1 cover for a newborn. Another diaper that I used with my daughter as a newborn, which did not make my original list, is Fun Genius. This diaper, I gotta hand it to it, um, fits, it, it fit my daughter as a newborn. Um, it fits her now. It's such a, such a versatile diaper. Um, yes, it's, you know, it, it's a little bit bigger than like, let's say the newborn Simplex or even the uh, Thirsties diaper, um, but the majority of that is just kind of a shell, which is very pliable and um, will kind of just conform to fit your baby. I did not use this with the microfiber. I knew from the get-go that I didn't want to use microfiber. Um, I, I used this with a whole slew of things that I would use again, primarily like uh, inserts that were way too many layers that I, I realized I couldn't clean. Um, I would use this with, of course, again, my Geffen Hemp Flat, which I think it's, there it is. <laughs> I'd use this with that. Um, I would pretty much use this for anything. Or, like I said, the, the Grovia prefolds, I did like a lot too. So um, these really worked well as well. And the last diaper that I used with my daughter when she was a newborn is the Soft Bums. 
And I, I don't want to bash smart, uh, uh, soft bums. I, I don't. I, this diaper is made in America. Um, it, it really is not a bad diaper. I just, as I mentioned, I'm very picky. And I, I, being a new mom, being new to cloth diapering, I had issues with this diaper. And they, they left its, their mark. <laughs> I, still, I still don't reach for these diapers, even though they are, you know, they're, they're perfectly good diapers. Um, I, I used these with their, their uh, small bamboo pods, which I did not like. I got leaks every time. My, the thing with this diaper is I kept getting leaks. That's why I didn't like it. Um, there's this diaper, let me say, is it does not have the snap rise adjustment. It has adjustable elastic. And one of the problems that I have come into with adjustable elastic diapers is the amount of fabric they have. There is no... On, on snap rise adjustments, you you snap down the fabric, you reduce the amount of fabric on these diapers. But uh, especially on the small setting of adjustable elastic diapers, there's a whole bunch of, of fabric in here. So when you put an insert in here, you really gotta make sure that it's gonna be, it's like sealed onto your baby or it's gonna slide down into this like no man's land and you're gonna get leaks. And that's what was happening with these diapers. I'm, I'm saying this all in retrospect. I had no idea what was happening at the time. But what I did end up kind of using that would work okay was rather than their small bamboo pod, uh, I used a Hemp Babies doubler. This is their small doubler, which is very wide. Uh, and um, a Knicker Nappies, this is their uh, Stay Dry Hemp doubler so it has micro fleece on top and hemp on the back and as i've said throughout this video um stay dry materials we got leaks with so i guess back in the day my daughter didn't have the the issues that she has now with peeing and leaking and everywhere the stay dry worked okay but and, and this was actually really nice to spray poop off of it was very easy so this combination actually worked pretty well. I think it's because it was big enough that the diaper actually held it on her. Um, but it's just, it wasn't as easy as some of my other diapers. So I wouldn't necessarily buy this soft bumps again. And last, kind of just like an afterthought, I want to point out that even though I didn't have this flip cover, nor did I have this uh, Morakai diaper or Meraki diaper when my daughter was a newborn, I am totally confident that these would fit a newborn. Like I said, the flip cover is pretty much identical in shape to the Bum Genius. I think the elastic might be a little bit different, but I am pretty confident that this would fit a newborn. And the, the Morakai actually gets even a little bit smaller than the Bum Genius in the waist and the thigh. So I am totally confident this, this would fit a newborn as well. I'm planning on using both of these for my next baby. So um, I want to point out that these would, you know, even though I didn't use them with my daughter, these would probably fit as well. So now I'm going to show what I used for overnight diapers for when my daughter was a newborn. And I was very lucky. My daughter started sleeping through the night at around actually like three months. She would go like six hours. Uh, so we were really lucky, but even before that, um, you know, she would go a span of like three, four hours sometimes. And so when she was still in these little tiny newborn diapers, I, I wanted something that would boost the absorbency without, um, you know, making it too bulky. So one thing that I found to, to work was with these blueberry simplex diapers, I would use a Geffen Baby newborn quick absorber and these actually are when i got these I, I laughed i literally laughed they are so tiny i was like what am i going to use this for um but they actually make really nice doublers um and they also work perfectly in these overnight diapers i would not recommend them now because they are five layers sewn together but like i said when my daughter was a newborn she wasn't peeing as much things weren't as hard to clean Plus this, I stuffed inside the pocket, which I'm gonna do really quickly. So because this was underneath all of the cotton, it didn't, you know, it it, it didn't get quite as uh, wet as, like it, it was never fully uh, soaked. It was never fully saturated. So 
It wasn't, cleaning it wasn't that bad when my daughter was a newborn. And see, it just fits, it really is the perfect size for this diaper. So this was a great way to add a little bit of extra absorbency without adding like hardly any bulk. That thing's really thin. So when my daughter started going even longer at night, when she would go about like six hours now, um, I, I kind of started making my official overnight diaper. And what I used back then was I would use my favorite thing to use. This is what I'm going to show is two of these baby kicks, uh, Joey buns premiums. And I like this. I, I did try the, um, the Joey buns regular, which I have here. This is hemp Jersey, but I prefer the premium because this is hemp fleece. First of all, this is actually more absorbent. I did a comparison review between these, the premium and the regular, and I will post a link uh, somewhere up here. I like these better because they are actually more absorbent and they are actually sewn into only two layers thick each and they are stitched together at the top. Some people even undo the stitching and make these doublers. Um, but these worked really well because they were a lot easier to clean. So when my daughter was still really young, the size small worked really well. And I would stuff these inside a Bun Genius. And like I said, back then we didn't have the leaking. I would get leaks sometimes with pockets, but not every time like I do now. So uh, I, would, I would recommend either stuffing these in the pocket or you can lay them on top and use a liner if you want a stay dry feeling for my daughter. But I, like I said, I don't use those uh, and my daughter has never woken up because she's wet. So uh, it's not a big deal for us. But another option I would recommend is these Joey Buns Premiums. And one last option that I will recommend for overnight is, of course, my Geffen Baby Hemp Flat. And I'm going to fold this uh, into a newborn fold. I really think this would be perfect for an overnight for a baby. And you can pair it with either the Bum Genius or a, uh, a Thirsty Size 1 cover, which I would recommend. So I'm going to fold this. Okay, so here I have the Geffen Hemp Flat, Hemp Jersey Flat. I've got this laid out and I'm gonna fold this into a newborn fold. So this shrinks up a little bit rectangularly. So you want to fold it in half the hot dog way so that it's the long way. Fold it in half like that. And now fold it in half again. And now you're going to try fold it. So boom and boom and now it is the perfect size this is 12 layers of hemp this is perfect for overnight for a little a little baby and it is so trim it's super trim uh, especially for an overnight for an overnight diaper and i'll just adjust this really quickly and you can just lay this in a cover or you can stuff this inside a pocket. This is this is the the flat inside the, the size one thirsties. Or you could stuff it inside the Bum Genius, or just lay it on top of the Bum Genius. Um, really, this is the perfect size. Works perfectly for a newborn overnight. So now I'm going to show a fold that is kind of like when your baby is past the newborn phase a little bit, but they aren't quite to the medium fold like I show up here in this video. Uh, I'm just going to show a quick fold so that it's a little bit longer. This is just like the fold I just showed. Um, the only difference is instead of going all the way up, and this is again the hot dog way, instead of going all the way up, you're going to not quite go all the way. You're going to leave a little bit room here, and then you fold it in half again, and then you are going to try fold it again. So this is still 12 layers in the wet zone. There's a little bit less at the top, um, but normally babies are kind of peeing more um, in the center or toward the, the top. So this will still give you plenty of absorbency. It's still perfect for overnight for, um, you know, three months, a, a little bit past the newborn phase, but not quite to, um, you know, six months or when they're peeing a lot more. So this, will, this, would, this fold is perfect for that. And I just want to add, like I should with my other overnight, my older overnight section, if you want to add a liner, if you want to add a stay dry feeling to your baby's diaper, um, if you're not going to put it in a pocket, 
like I said, it's never mattered for my daughter's skin. It's, it's never been a problem. So I don't, I just have natural fibers against her skin at night. She doesn't wake up because she's wet. Um, but if you want something for a newborn, I just want to, I want to throw some recommend recommendations out there. I would either recommend the Bum Genius Stay Dry Liner. This has got stitching along the side, so it's pretty, um, pretty durable. Also, the Smart Bottoms is nice and thick and, and big, so I would recommend that as well. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend these for older babies because they are pretty small. Um, I'll post a link to that section up there. But I would also recommend, uh, where did you go? <laughs> Here it is, I found it. So this is the Baby Greens Wool Liner. So this is great for a natural option. Uh, it'll still provide a stay dry feeling while actually providing a little bit of absorbency and it's a natural material rather than the fleece that I just showed. So those are some options I'd recommend for stay dry linings. So those are all of the diapers that I like, would recommend, that I can think of at least at the moment. Hopefully I didn't forget any. Uh, you can find more information reviews on my site. I'm trying to get everything covered. But uh, yeah, those are our favorite diapers. So thanks for watching.